Okay, today's demonstrations have to do with the concept of density. Density is a physical property of all matter. Uh, before we get into density, we need to understand two other physical properties that all matter contain. The first is mass. Now, when we talk about mass, it's different from weight. Even though they're related, they're uh, quite a bit different. Mass is the amount of substance or amount of matter in an object, how much stuff it contains. Okay, the second one is volume. Volume is the amount of space something takes up. Okay, your body has volume. This tank of water has volume. These balls here have volume. Air has volume. Okay, so all matter has both of these physical properties. When we combine these two mathematically, we come up with a new physical property called density. Density is an important physical property because it can be used to help identify unknown substances. In fact, back in the medieval times, uh, alchemists used uh, the idea of density to change impure metals or uh, uh, invaluable metal metals uh, to appear to uh, be like gold and other valuable metals. We'll come to find out because the densities are different, they found out that they actually were not real gold. So, uh, this is a concept has been used for many, many years. So, to demonstrate density, we've got, uh, first of all, I've got my son here, Zachary. Zachary is a sixth grader, and he's going to help us uh, demonstrate some. Uh, so the idea of density and whether an object will float in water or not. Now before we start, we have to understand one thing about water. Okay, typically just pure water at room temperature has a density of about one gram per milliliter. Okay, since mass is measured in grams typically and volume is measured in milliliters or centimeters cubed, cubic centimeters, uh, we could say that for every one gram of water, it's gonna take up one milliliter of space. Or we could say if we have one milliliter of water, it's going to have a mass of approximately one gram. Okay, so one gram per milliliter is the density of water. Okay, so we've got four different objects here that we're going to have Zachary predict and then put in the tank here and see whether they sink or float. So Zachary, go ahead and grab one of them. Okay, golf ball, and is it, how would you describe its mass? It's not, it's really light. Okay, so not very massive. Okay, pretty pretty small mass if we were to mass it out on a triple beam balance. Okay, is it going to sink or float? I think it's going to sink. I think it's going to sink. Okay, even though it has a small mass? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and put it in the tank and see. Okay, and indeed the golf ball does sink. Uh, you'll see so many golfers lose their golf ball in the, in the drink, in the water, uh, me being one of them. So golf balls do definitely sink. Okay, grab another one. Okay, softball, what do you think? Pretty good size mass? Yeah? Okay, yeah. sink or float, what do you think? I think it's gonna float. I think it's gonna float, okay? Let's put it in there and see. And actually it does float. So if I was to ask you without making any measurements, knowing the density of water is one gram per milliliter, would you think that the density of that softball is greater or less than one gram per milliliter? Greater or less? Greater or less. Is this density of this softball going to be bigger than one gram per milliliter or less than one gram per milliliter? Because less. it is floating. So it would probably be less. Be less than one gram per milliliter. And if we could go out and figure out, and we could do that mathematically, determine the mass and volume uh, and determine the density. Okay? The next one. What is that there? Shot put. Okay? Made out of steel or a component of. Uh, different uh, combined metals there. So, uh, pretty heavy? Yeah. Yeah, pretty heavy. So, do you think sink or float? I think it's going to sink. I think it's going to sink. Okay, very carefully, if you would, set that in the tank. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I appreciate you not dropping it in and cracking my tank and putting water all over the floor. So, it, it definitely does sink. So, in this case, Without making any measurements on this uh, shot put, this steel ball, do you think it would sink, or uh, do you think the density is greater or less than that of water? Greater. Greater than, okay, very good. Let's try the last one here, the bowling ball. Pretty heavy? Mm -hmm. Okay, 10 pounds is the weight on that bowling ball, okay, so would you say it's got a pretty good size mass? Yeah. Okay, sink or float? I think it's actually going to sink. You think it's going to sink? Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead and put it in the tank here and see what happens. Carefully. And would you believe that bowling ball is going to float? Now, it's got a pretty good mass, you said, but what have we not considered yet? The second the characteristic. And that's right, the volume. 
Okay? And mathematically, if we wanted to find density, we could take mass divided by volume, and we would get the density of these objects, just like we could water. And the units, of course, would be grams per milliliter or grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, so if we were to measure out the mass and volume of this bowling ball, would you predict it to be less than or greater than that of density of water? It have to be less than. It would have to be less than because it's... Okay, you can also think of density as how compact a substance is. Here we have two samples of Fruit Loop cereal, uh, both of equal volume. So we can go, we're going to go ahead and predict that they have equal mass. I'm going to take one sample of our Fruit Loops and put them into a baggie. And then create a slight change. So before we did this, we could say that they had equal mass, equal volume, therefore equal density. However, when we put the same cereal with the same amount of particles back into the cylinder, we can see that the mass, of course, did not change because we didn't lose or gain any cereal. However, we can see that the amount of space the cereal takes up is much less. Therefore, we say the density is different of the cereal, okay? Simply because we're taking the same amount of matter, the same amount of stuff, and we're compacting it into a smaller volume. Okay, so now you can say you've actually seen a cereal killer in action.